What is up, everybody? It's your boy Vert today, and we're gonna talk about Sony exclusive Stellar Blade, which is coming out in 2024. And the question being asked here is: Is this game? <laughs> is the assets of this game? Okay, is the characters but enough to make this game sell? Let's be honest here. The only way, the only reason people are talking about this game is because the characters butt. She has a big voluptuous butt right here, which we don't see in a lot of Western games. Uh, especially point out this tweet like here, we're comparing uh, her how she looks compared to this other character. Uh, this is a character from Overwatch into Fortnite. This is simply got trash because they removed how this character is. They made her butt flatter in this in the, in the, in the Fortnite game compared to the Overwatch game, and people are talking about it saying, "Hey." Uh, it's just, it's just, it's a, there's a thorough discussion right here. So, are people actually gonna buy this game? Because once again, I mean, honestly, I don't even know what the story of this game is. I just know the visuals look great, and this character has a big butt. That's it. <laughs> I don't know what the story about this game is, but apparently, this is a highly anticipated game that people plan on picking up. Or at least the hype is around. I don't know if people are actually gonna buy it, but I don't think a, a big butt is alone to make people want to buy this game. To be honest. Uh, once again, I haven't seen anybody say anything positive about this game besides the characters, uh, but yeah, to be honest, I haven't heard any discussion about this game besides how the character looks. So, um, like, even when this game was announced for this game being delayed to 2024, people were just talking about, you know, how the character looks, <laughs> how they're bookmarking it to be thirsty and horny over this character, but are they actually going to support this game when it releases? I don't know. So, uh,. 400 bookmarks. People are literally just playing, are literally just attracted to this game because of how the character looks. No mention of the game is good or not. Just hey, we just want to see her because she has a big butt. So, I mean, I kind of understand it because if you look at Western games now; they're definitely like reducing how the character, how the female characters look. They look more manly, they like less flat in the front and in the back. We can see like the whole rock steady what Arkham, the Suicide Squad game, how Harley Quinn and um and Poison I even look completely different from their earlier Arkham um, counterparts. Uh, Harlequin was more bustier. Uh, uh, Poison Ivy was an actual woman. Now she's a kid into this one. So yeah, we could definitely, especially, especially like studios like the Night Dog and the Last of Us franchise, the, the women characters look like either butch men or they look like overall just look like men. So, you know, this is it's definitely a discussion we had about Western game developers. Now they're treating women characters and how hey the Japanese don't care about that nonsense. You're gonna make a character look like this, and what are you gonna what are you gonna say about it? You can't cast less. <laughs> You're gonna make a game looks like this. Uh, make a character looks like that. So <clears throat> it's kind of crazy because the only one who's really making characters make women be like different sizes, different varieties is really Rockstar with this new GTA 6 trailer. They showed there could be different levels of how women look in these different games. Instead of just a typical Western uh, model at this point, I'm going with Eastern games from now on. I have a sickness for the thickness that must be satiated. That's an interesting way of saying it. Okay. Damn Tracer. Okay, that's the woman's character. That's the character's name, Tracer from Overwatch. Apparently, they completely just made her completely flat in the old Fortnite game, and people are not happy with that. So. You know, I really don't get it. They really just like decrease how the women look in these in these Western games. But you know, the many characters they all have six packs and abs, so <laughs> you keep them the same. It's just, it's just really hilarious. Once again, once again, another Japanese studio making Bayonetta. They have not had this trend when they had like the decrease the women's the video game characters a sex appeal in these games. But the Western developers seem to need that they seem the need to want to do that. So. I don't know. So if you are really about that, that you're really saying, trying to give a middle finger to the Western developers who just want to um, desexify the women, so to say, just like buy Stellar Blade because they're definitely giving people what they want with this one. But once again, I think it is kind of like an issue that nobody's talking about this game is good or not. They're only talking about the, how the character looks in this game. So you know, I guess I guess the character could just be. Um, Speak in a baby language, and you know, as long as she looks like those people will buy it. So, I don't know. Well, they can support it though, because once again, it's a big game on PlayStation. We don't get too many of those because their roadmap is looking pretty sparse on PlayStation, but it is exclusive to PlayStation. So, that's at least something for PlayStation owners to look forward to. 
you know, they didn't have a good year uh, this year. Hopefully, look next year is even brighter. Yeah, once again, people aren't even talking about the game. <laughs> it's just hilarious. But once again, I don't know. I don't. Maybe maybe the booty is enough to make people want to buy this game. Maybe in the story, it don't have to be good. Just as long as they got the booty, that's all that matters. But I don't know. I guess it's just like a little rambling video. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Or do you think that's enough to sell this game? Or do you think it needs the whole story, gameplay, graphics, everything else to sell it? So... I believe this is going to be full price too, a full $70, so that's interesting to see how this uh, thing fares, if people are going to support it, or they're just hyping it up just because of the character's aesthetics. So, definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this, leave a like, like this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.